Hey guys, Jantone here. So, today we are back and we continue up this tower of dungeon loot and such. Ooh, that's a new scythe ability I didn't know about. So, yeah, in the last episode we got this amazing scythe from a random boss guy, dungeon boss guardian. And today we are continuing our way up the tower to find even greater treasures that lie beyond. Well, at least that's the hope. Ah, oh, God, come on, stop. There. Um, it looks like we have some treasure in the center area here. I just don't know how to get to it. Um, I don't have a lot of coal left, actually. I kind of should probably get more in a little. I'm going to have to head out or find it in chests or furnaces. Nope. What the heck is this? Lawn? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll take some lawn. And then, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll come back to it. Gunpowder. Very nice. All the loots within. Usually, I think there'd be enemies here, but we fought them, the mo majority of them at least, off earlier. There's basically guaranteed some in that marketplace though, right? Question mark. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Okay, we're going to keep that respiration helmet because that might come in handy if we ever need to go swimming. And we're definitely going to keep these two... Um, chest plates and especially amazing that spear because fire aspect okay can I I'm sorry how much range do I have okay wait that's really nice range but um, I don't know about it there we go well actually actually though that's some really nice range Gotta admit, that's... Okay, that's nice. Um, yikes, man. Okay, we're gonna charge in this way. And then hit him, and then... Boom. What the heck is this? Just heart... No, oh, dude, we just freaking reap that boy? Boom. So, wait, are these, like, straight-up souls? <laughs> Uh, we're the Grim Reaper now, boy. Your boy, the Grim Reaper. On, on a, what is it, Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Just, uh, clearing out dungeons, reaping zombie souls. Amazing. Here, take that. Um, stay away. I don't actually know where the, the point of reaping souls yet, so. Um... I'm no expert. I'll probably leave that till later to figure out. Is that health even accurate? It says you're 20, but yeah, no, you just died at 20 health. That can't be accurate. I never went to that center area. The curse is not cool. Let's check it out. <laughs> Souls. Okay, wait. Soul. Um. It's a soul keeper. Uh, how do I make soul vessels? Soul shards. Uh, oh, wait. So we we got, like, soul shards from Skyrim in this? Dang. <laughs> I'm guessing that's used for some kind of enchanting. Yeah, altar of souls. <laughs> this is awesome. I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Um, what's back here, boys? We got some nice greenery. Uh, not, no, don't do that. Okay, back here we have a chest. Some, ooh, some arrows, I really like that. A reinforced chest. Um, okay. Some of these things will be useful in the future. I, if you haven't been, been able to tell yet, guys, I'm kind of a bit of a pack rat. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm not, I guess I'm not going to stop collecting endless amounts of loot. Uh, maybe it'll come in handy someday, maybe it won't. A lot of it tends to eventually. Uh, I know we can't exactly store... What? Um, we can't exactly store... Well, um, backpacks in backpacks. So, that'll probably be the cap. I mean, obviously you want some inventory space um, to just sort your loot around, but a lot of this time will probably be a little bit of 
loot sorting. Or, I mean, if you guys want, I can cut this out. Although, I do record these sessions several episodes ahead. So keep in mind any change you have to the series that you'd recommend will probably not be seen until several episodes after you, after, um, you post your comments. But, um, smells terrible, but if you have nothing else to eat, great. Gelatous slime. Blue coagulant. Okay, you know what, though? I think we're gonna keep that, but not eat it. <laughs> um, I think there's many better uses. We can dump that. Hmm. And then we have an enchanting table. Amazing. Okay, this is going to be helpful. I'm sorry. Sorry, what is this? What is this weird table layout you've got here? I'm gonna pick up some bread here. Uh, chuck that in. Okay, so... Boom. Do we get to just... <clears throat> soul tether? Huh. What is all of this? <laughs> What's afterlife? Uh, not enough bookcases requires. 24. Um. What? Yeah. Um. Jant. Okay, protection 3. Uh, I guess that's how that works. Um. Boom. Projectile protection as well. No. Projectile protection Four, yeah. Um, in that way, can I? Rep oh, that's repair. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, so it uses dur. I mean, it uses. I'm guessing enchantment XP to repair stuff. This is really cool. Um, I'm guessing this is just a regular enchantment table too. Repair cost. Enchant. Can I do feather falling? Enchantment. Boom. I don't want to die of falling, especially with the other stuff I've got. Uh, repair. Awesome. Boom. I am also going to use this and pick this up, because clearly this is a useful item to carry on our journeys with us. <laughs> Gosh dang, man. I am... I don't know, man. I'm just happy. Happy about all of this stuff that we found just in this market alone. This is a great dungeon for all of this loot collection stuff. Is that copper? Hmm. Hmm. Zon I mean, villager noise. Okay, so this would be used in mostly uh, smeltery stuff. I guess we'll hold on to it. I mean, no harm in it. Ores and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Um, wait up, wait up, wait up. Wrong, wrong. Ah! It doesn't help. Okay, I need to get dyes for my uh, bags, my man. It's gonna have to happen. Ores and stuff. I also need this. Boom. Boom. Haha, -ha, I have one emerald. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will definitely try to do my best to cut out a fair amount of the inventory sorting, um, but it's not going to be all gone, and that'll seriously cut down on some of the length of these episodes, I gotta say. So we'll uh, we'll try to adjust accordingly. Sleep. Try, try to sleep time. Come on. Boom. Okay, so carrying on. The, okay, so this is like the brick-roofed building that we keep seeing. Boom, um, uh, boom, launch, launch, apples, is that, that's just straight glowing bread, what is glowing bread, I don't know what this glowing bread crap is, but it looks delicious, hey, 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 no, I didn't look at you, I just looked at your feet, I'm totally fine, I'm chill, Enderman, hey, stay back, boom, Boom. Die. Okay. Whoa. Where? Where? Hmm. Where? Hey. Nope. Come on, my man. Why you do this? And stab. Okay, 
So we have protection two, projectile protection four. I don't know, that's pretty weak armor. Uh, in terms of just pure uh, strength of it. But we'll uh, dump it into the stuff's chest. Um, boom. Food. Boom. Boom. Gosh, we are getting clogged up here. We're, we might have to have a base at a certain point. Although I hate the idea because, like, we'll likely be leaving a lot of stuff behind, like, all the time. Because we're constantly going to be moving on. But, hey, uh, it might have to be a necessity of just playing this as it is. I feel like Flint's probably slightly... Oh, wow, that's that's some interesting redstone there. I feel like Flint's going to maybe upgrade our longsword, but at this point, I don't know if we even want our longsword. These other um, tools might just be nicer in general. Try not to, my man. Haha! -ha. I can just keep hitting you from this far away. Stop trying to resist, my friend. I have a spear. And you have a long-range tiny arrow spear that does not have the same effect either. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. I have spear. Remember, son, a spear is the ultimate weapon against an adversary that uses a longsword. Unless they are skilled with the longsword. In which case, you might want to just avoid them. Okay, onwards. Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay. I am just dumping stuff at this point. I'm uh, keeping that. Doom. Maybe we just want to start leaving some of this stuff behind. I'm not going to grab that tin or aluminum. But, yeah. Let us move on. Torch, torch, torch. Boom. You know what I just love? The fact that all YouTubers tell you to turn on notifications. Because, um... Because, obviously, if you're subscribed, you're going to want notifications, am I right? That's clearly the logical end, right? Um, <clears throat> and then, I don't know, maybe this is a thing that people generally agree with them on? Or maybe, and maybe this is just me, or maybe this is a lot of people who think this, but... Well, simply put, most of my browsing on YouTube comes through going online, clicking on the subscription page and looking at what they have to say from there. It does not come from their notifications, and I don't often plan on turning them on. Just because I'm subscribed does not mean I want to be notified of every time they make a video, either. Ooh, these are nice. Um, generally, in fact, it just means that I'm like, yeah, this is good content, I want to see more of this content. And so, I don't have a lot of people that turn notifications on for... Um, but when it comes right down to it, it's interesting because it's like, it seems either like a detached worldview or something. Because like, I don't know about them, but do they want to be contacted by their notifications every time someone they watch comes out? Maybe they just want to limit the amount of people they watch. Because like, just now got a notification in the middle of my recording. And I have like four people I I have notifications for in comparison to like 50 people I'm subscribed to. If I had a notification every single time any of them created anything, you just hear like ding, 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 boom. Maybe a bit of a, uh, you know, not exactly that. But still, you, you get my point. It's like, why? I mean, you have to have some idea, right, YouTube? It's like, this isn't... This is not how it works because this is not how people generally would want that. I mean, seriously, you either limit the amount of people you watch and no get notified on all of them, or you just, like, turn on notifications on some. I mean, personally, I find it perfectly fine if people who are subscribed to me aren't having notifications turned on because guess what, man? It's up to you. If you want to watch my video, sure. If you want to be notified every time I upload, sure, go ahead. Click that bell notification. But personally, I don't think there should even be an issue about them... Need you needing to turn that on because it's like, duh, 
I mean, obviously. Yeah, you don't want to be just notified literally every time someone uploads. This is a bad situation, boys. Okay, this is getting bad. This is getting bad. Really, really bad. Yeah, like some. Jeez, I'm scared. Okay, but <laughs> you don't want to be notified every time. Okay, again, like I said, maybe this is just me. Maybe this is just me. But you, you subscribe the way you want to subscribe. If you want to watch me every couple months, go right ahead. If you want to watch just like the the random crap I put up and not at all the gaming stuff, go right ahead. <laughs> don't you don't need to subscribe, like, or notify me. It all helps. And of course, like, if you want to grow the channel or whatever, yeah, awesome. I can see why they might say that. But, like, at the same time, taking, like, moral offense to, uh, YouTube, oh, God, they, I mean, they're subscribed, but I'm, they're not getting notifications without clicking the bell. What? Yeah, duh. The feature's there for a reason. Oh, I don't know, man. This is just a rant by me now, but... Like, you know, I get you guys. Um, heck, I mean, there have been plenty of YouTubers I watched in the past who are like, ah, that's a nice video I watched, but not enough to subscribe. And when I continuously get videos or I'm like, really like, look at their channel at this point, I'm like, yeah, this is content. I like, yeah, then I subscribe, but there's been plenty of people in the past that I've watched a video from, enjoyed that video from them, and then not, um, not continue to I mean I didn't I didn't continue on to subscribe and I find that perfectly fine too it's like um enjoyed the video right it's fine if you want to come back that's what subscriptions for if you want to be seeing literally everything like the TV show then that's what the notifications are for. it's a perfectly nice system that YouTube has made here the people are upset about because they have to manually press a button so that they can see everything that comes up, rather than having everyone all the time have no choice but to do that. This is nice. Um, water. Wait, an infinite water bucket. Unless you drink from it, it trades for life. It trades life for hunger. Um, infinite water bucket. Why is this not pouring out? Maybe it picks up water. Oh guys, oh guys, this is, this might be problematic. Um, yikes. I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, anyways though, guys, that whole rant aside, that whole everything aside, this weird glitch in the place aside, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is the end of this video. See you next time.